Hello! It is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy. The Lament of Zors. Modded. We are an Archmage. We have Conflux, uh, the Blade, and the Flame Shield spell. I will mostly be using Conflux, I'm sure. Um. Alright. I'll also be taking too much damage from a painting. But sometimes that's what happens when you warm up. Very beginning, it's like, yeah. Find my scope. Finding my keys. Finding my reaction time. But eventually it comes together. We've got a gazillion jumps, right? I've got one, two, three. Well, two double jumps and then some flying ability. So with the uh, runes we happen to find, we're in good shape there. And it looks like I'm about to get some health. But I should need it. Now, which kind of suggests I want to play around with these guys. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably going to kill that one, actually. This one, I'm not so sure. There we go, took some damage. Now this makes it worth it. And another chicken leg. Chicken for everybody. Alright. Um, in terms of goals for this particular character, if I do find the boss, I'll probably try to give it a fight. Um, but I'm still happy just to continue trying to have a good run where we earn a lot of gold. That will also be super helpful. Okay, there's a chicken leg back there if I need it. And I may in the future. And now that we have so much movement, there probably will be a number of fairy chest puzzles that we can solve, as it were. Alright, I'm at maximum health, so I don't need that chicken leg. This is a good room for complex. Lots of enemies, big room. Orbs bounce around, kill some bad guys for me. And we get our magic back. Um, looks like I do want to go up at this point. Carefully. Let's do that again. Alright, I activated painting somewhere. There he is. And now it's dead. All right, great. Oh, there's a the Sharite. Right? And now it's dealt with. Um, there's nothing else up here. It looks like I need to go down and to the left now. That's one possible new direction to explore. I guess that thing you never blew up. This is also a dead end. Uh, next, it looks like down and then to the right. So we'll give that one a go. Can I go this way? I can. One of my few possible complaints about this mod. Oh! Healing Fountain is here. Is that due to the fact that it makes the castle bigger but doesn't add any teleporters, there is the chance that you'll spend a lot of time kind of like walking back through rooms once you reach that end. I wish it added more teleporters as well. That said, the fact that you can always just teleport back to the start by saving the game and restarting, which is very quick, does mitigate that issue a bit. So it's not a huge deal. In any case, Kill some bad guys. Get some fairy chests. They're hidden in the walls. I know how to look for them. Pick up some extra runes. A vampire rune, once again, is the thing that I would like the most. I think it's the thing that's the most valuable kind of in the early game. But I guess the chances that we get a vampire rune, like there's... How many different types of runes are there? There might be 15 on five different bits of equipment. 
So like 75 different runes you can pick up. But five of them are vampire runes. So I think it's 1 in 15. Here's the boss, by the way. I will return to the boss after we've done some more exploring and gathering of um, monies. Because I want all the monies. So that we can buy all the upgrades. Uh, take no damage. I believe I can do this. Easy. Alright, Curse Rune. Unlike the Grace Rune, that makes the enemies harder, but makes them drop more gold. So basically it's opposite. So much so that I think if you have one Curse Rune and one Grace Rune, they completely cancel each other out. I could be wrong about that. Not 100% certain. Uh, you know what? Let's just throw in some Conflux. Oops, get one rid of at least one of these threats. Alright, another nice room. Here's a big room, looks like. These guys could use some orbs in their face. Hopefully I killed some other guys over there. Or at least soften them up. So they would die to a single sword hit. Oh gosh. Ah! How are you guys not dead yet? How many points do you have? Not allowed to be that strong. Uh, right. I have the ability to fly, so let's just do that. I guess the Conflux Orbs... Eh, they do have some knockback to them. I was gonna say we weren't knocking those guys back very far. But it's not so bad. I do love it when I just see gold flying to me from somewhere off-screen. It's like, oh, you killed somebody. Way over there. Didn't even know it. Uh, let's do another. Hope I hit the Visionary. He's a bit of a problem. Uh, it doesn't seem like I hit him. There we go. Oh, I jumped right into that. I'm such a dummy. Still not dead, huh? Alright. I want to get to the chest and pick up my monies. So well deserved. Uh, this looks like another biggish room. Use the usual strategy. Ah. Alright, zombie. Yeah, zombie and another one of these guys. Uh, let's get to both nearby. There we go. And do some more of that. Alright, zombie down. This guy, not quite down, but almost there. And there was a uh, flame lock in there. But it appears that he also got killed. Alright. Ten daggers, I'm bad at this game. I have won it before, but rarely. So we'll see how I do. That was too early. That was too early. Was on target. That was not even close. They start moving faster and faster, but they're also at just variable ranges, and so that combination of things. I'm never good at timing stuff anyway. Alright, I've already lost, so I'll just take the loss. No risk in these games. You either win the prize or you don't. But sometimes I just skip that one, because I guess the risk is that you waste your time and get nothing and feel embarrassed by your own performance. <laughs> did I hit the other blinky by any chance? I did. Alright, and I broke some furniture. So we'll send some more conflict swords around the room to do their work. Alright. Ah, there's even another one. Enough of you, Pinky. Uh, let's try going upwards. This also seems like a good place. 
send things around. Uh, that zombie was hiding under the floor, though. Ouch. So was that one, so I didn't get a chance to hit him. This is a good room for complex, definitely. Alright, here comes Panning. Paintings don't take knockback. So be wary of that. Okay. Most of these rest of the guys should have been softened up. Ranger chest plates. Um, that might be pretty good relative to what I have. Um, let's just not do it. Under the expectation that I will lose again. There are two different carnival games. The other one is easier. Silver Helm. That's nice. And now it looks like I want to go back down and choose some of those side passages. It still doesn't feel like it's worth going after the zombies, though. Uh, this room is just full of furniture, so let's break it. Or the money contained therein. Oops. There we go. Ooh, ooh, gadget complex orbs. Ah, uh, just furniture. I'll break it in case it has any goodies. I could use a chicken leg right about now. As a matter of fact, I could probably break this orb. Yeah. Uh, right, but I don't have any vampirism. It would only be a barbarian. I guess. Right now. Oh boy. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. So let's be more careful. I didn't hit you. Alright, got that guy. Hit a guard box. There's another frost in. I did manage to hit the guard box. Okay, and given that I can fly... Well, it doesn't matter. I can just jump over these now. Okay. But now we need to work really hard to not take damage. So let's do such things. Um, sure, we're fine. Zombie, you stay over there. I'll stay over here. And spike ball, you can do whatever you want. Oh boy. Oh boy. All the complex orbs. <laughs> Save me. Oh, there is a chicken leg in there, which is very good news. Oh, crap! <laughs> Even better news would be if I didn't take more damage while trying to get said chicken leg. Alright, another skeleton in the upper right, who I should go kill first because he can still aim at me even when I'm off screen. So let's get rid of that threat before we clear out the rest of the room. Uh, and it was just some magic. Okay, and I've been to the room to the left, so let's go upwards. Oh boy, I didn't see the guard box at first. I just saw the furniture. Okay. Sure. Hey! That's good news. Alright, that worked out. Pretend it was all skill. No luck involved. Very precise aiming. Of like 16 different orbs at once. Calculated the precise precisions of all the enemies in the room. Zach Galifianakis Jeff. Before pressing the button. That's totally what happened. Uh, I don't need to kill that. Don't worry about the spike balls. Just because they're fun to kill doesn't mean you have to kill them. Okay, um, left, and then down, down, and right. Will bring me to another room I have not yet visited. 
And if I get my hit points back up, we can go try to fight the boss again. Uh, this is the gambling room? Sure, we'll do it again. One in three times, I'll win. This was not one of those times. All right. And I think, like, the expected value payoff there is basically, like, dead even. So... It's kind of pointless. Is that true? Like, you spend a quarter and then... have your money and then get a third back or something, I want to say. I might be wrong about how the payoffs work. Um... I'm not good at this room. So rather than go try to get some money out of that room, instead, let's go visit a different room. This is a room I'm good at. It has a single enemy. Oh, but it's a Doomscape. Crap, he shoots projectiles, which I don't like. So let's give him some Conflict Sorbs. And then be patient. This will get him. Ranger Bracers. All right, well, good news, bad news. We do have... Oops. Uh, my jump button's stuck there, I think, for a second. That worries me. I do have a backup controller. But maybe it was just a freak occurrence. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Something about this game, probably. Oh, I was saying it was good that we have found lots more pieces of equipment that could be useful to us in the long run. Uh, but the bad news is that we don't have enough money to unlock all the bits of equipment and weight capacity we need to equip them, I don't think. Which is why I do want to try to find more money. Helios' Blessing. That's a free death defy. So basically when we die, we won't die. Or rather, we'll be immediately brought back to life with, I think, like, I don't know, an eighth of our hitch points or something to continue fighting. Um, so that is a good thing to have. Um, I can do this. That was simple enough. It was not greedy to go after. Uh, this room, however, I am bad at, so let's not take the risk there. Also, in the boss room that I have previously found, there will be a chicken leg for me. So I should consider going back to it and taking it. Um, if I use this, can I hit these guys? I'm curious. Yes, but not fast enough uh, to necessarily protect myself. So let's not worry about that room. Also, I had taken damage and therefore already lost a chance to get the very chest now that I think about it. I was too concerned with how to kill the guys. Um, this is another room that's probably worth it. Yeah, mana regenerates really fast. I should really not be afraid to throw lots of complex orbs. Ouch! in those situations. Alright, there is a guard box. And now there's not. It's just that easy. Unfortunately, the game is like, there are hit points in Brian's Archmage, and now there's not. So watch out for that. How are you not dead yet? Why do you have so many hit points? It's not fair. I want that many hit points. Um, if I do this, that will hit you. All right, so you're dead. And then I could also do this, and that'll hit you. All right, I really need to find a chicken leg. I've got a hankering. health item. This is the Maya. We will totally die in there. That probably means... This might be the teleporter room. It is. So there's a chicken leg here for me. 
And then I can teleport to the boss room later. I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the castle and see if we can get lucky and find more easy rooms filled with furniture. I wanna give me... Oh boy, okay, he's dead. Chicken legs, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, sadly, I'd have to go really far to the right to find the next one, wouldn't I? Oh, this healing fountain I'd forgotten about. That'll heal us up partially. And now that we're here, there's a new room. Which I could totally use some complex orbs in. Alright. Some of them might even hit the enemies. Such precision aiming. Night sword. Very nice. Alright, up and left there's one more room, but then I'll probably have to cut away briefly again. Oh, it's a random teleporter. I don't want to take that, sadly. Oh, but I did get a chicken leg here, which is not sadly, it's happily. We'll go get a chicken leg. Alright. Um, yeah, we're at 55 health. It's not so bad. Yeah, let me go find my way to the bottom right of the castle. Alright, new room. While I was walking over here, I actually got a chance to observe how the mana shield works. I was at full mana, and I took no damage, and instead I took straight up mana damage. So I think it's basically a percentage of, um, like if your mana is 100% full, it takes 100% of the damage. If your mana is 10% full, it'll only take 10% of the damage. Uh, and it just converts what would normally be normal damage to the player hit points into mana damage instead. Um, so yeah, basically if I keep my mana up, I have a mana shield. Uh, and so now that I understand that better, that could actually change my strategy, not only against normal enemies, but also for fighting the boss as an Archmage. So things to consider. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna die before I get there, though. Yikes. Um, these guys don't have contact damage. They're pretty easy to kill. Just go stand inside them at the right moment. Flamelock, you'll be a little bit of a problem. And Charite, you're a big problem because you fly through the wall. And you're good at dodging the orbs. Okay. More monies for me. You can die. And let's be very careful and picky about what rooms we actually set foot in at this point, because I am extremely low on health. I could totally ricochet that to kill you. Uh, one more should do it. There you go. Skeleton down. Uh, there's another skeleton, but there's chicken leg. That's what we wanted. That's the big prize. The prize of chicken. I had a chicken sandwich for lunch today. It was, dare I say, delicious. Alright, skeleton. Uh, we'll take a peek in here. Ooh, it's a big room. It could net us some good things, but let's try to find a safer one. Uh, this one will work. I can do that. Okay, Plinky is down. So there go most of the projectiles. The projectiles out of the way. I'm not nearly as afraid of fighting Grey Knights. Oh, but there was nothing in here. Not even furniture that dropped me a chicken leg. Let's try this room over here. See how it looks. Uh, it's reasonable. Uh, we'll just wait on the flame lock here for a moment. Oh dear! <laughs> that was no good skis. Alright, let's do the rare pogo on this guy. And I see the chicken leg, and I almost got so excited about the chicken leg that I jumped right into the guard box bullet. So I'm glad I saw that at the last moment and managed to jump and dodge it.
Alright, complex orbs I sent ahead of me as a welcoming party for the enemies. Did not seem to reach them, so we'll send some more. As one does. Okay. Now I'm feeling pretty good. When it comes to our ability to fight off the rest of the bad guys. There we go. Let's finish you off, and you are a danger due to your projectiles that go through walls. Which I do not like. Oops. There we go. Oh, it's a chicken leg. Chicken leg is the best leg. I am not pulling your leg. This is simply the truth that I speak. Alright, that was good taking advantage of the double jump. Triple jump. Whichever jump. To avoid damage there. Hey, and it's another chicken leg. Okay, and I could teleport. If I want. Uh, yeah, let's... There's a tiny chance that the room to the left here will be an easy room. It's not. And I already peeked into this one? I did not. So let's peek and see if there's any other easy rooms. This one's actually not bad. It's got a chicken leg. One after it. Actually, let's do this. Putting you in the back is key. And not actually that hard to do. Just because I'm an Archmage doesn't mean I have to use spells all the time. Uh, this room's also easy, due to the placement of this enemy, and another chicken leg! This guy's projectiles all go into the ceiling. Okay, that room's gonna be tougher. That room, I'm not great at timing, so we're not gonna do it. And I guess we've peeked in all the different directions at this point. Uh, so 53 hit points, looks like all the hit points I'm gonna have. But let's go take a stab at the boss, I think. We've got 11,000 gold. Oh, and a chicken leg. Alright. Fill the room with Conflux. I've got a Death Defy still from Helios' Blessing. Alright, and so just try to dodge. All the blood bullets. Uh, this is not dealing all that much damage to the boss, as it turns out. Alright, so let's try the sword some. Oh boy. Come on. Alright, let's do some more complex orbs. Alright, I can dodge this. Alright, and let's do some more orbs. Can't. Out of mana. Oh boy. Oh, and we died. Well, we gave it a good try. And we killed a bunch of enemies that run. Can't complain. Um, do we have anyone who could be a boss killer here? There's a chance the paladin could kill the boss. Let's use the architect. Uh, momentarily after we spend some of our other money. Uh, so let's see. This sword is not as good. This helmet is better. This helmet is better. Uh, 15 and 25, 10, uh, yeah, so this one is much better. That's health and mana. This one is extra armor, which I like a lot. Yeah, let's take the extra armor. This one is extra magic damage. I won't be using that much of that in this run. And this would be crits, um, but I'm not getting much crit damage due to low crit percentage. So I don't know that I want that. So yeah, health and mana. Let's unlock that. Great, and that uses up all of my weight capacity. 
and I don't think there's any runes that are really going to change the game for me here. Yeah, so let's pour the rest of our... Yeah, I'm tempted to go hard into attack. That usually works in my favor. So let's buy a bunch of attacks ups, and then a little bit of health, and a little bit of upgrading nave. <laughs> Just spend the rest of our money. All right, and so now I'm hitting for 66. I have a spell. I have the possibility of using a shield. And let's use the architect. Uh, who has the ability to lock down the castle at the cost of 40% of your gold that you get in this run. And just see, this character has IDS, so it's going to be flatulent. Uh, see if, if we go straight back to the boss, if we could defeat him with this character who is more armored and deals more damage with the sword. Alright, so how good can Brian dodge is basically what we're looking at here. All right, not too bad. Okay, I chose to use the shield there to block, which I think actually is gonna work pretty well. Oh boy, uh, that was not as good. Come on. Okay, we almost got him, yeah. I just needed the right boss killer character. All right, good job, Paladin. Teleporter to the forest unlocked. So that's one of the new things in the mod, is once you defeat the first boss, it automatically gives you the teleporter to the second boss uh, for all subsequent runs, which is good because the various areas are larger, uh, and so that helps you get around. And we got some stat bonuses. Nice. And made some progress toward unlocking the door. Okay, so let's go ahead and recharge some things. And yeah, since we have the new teleporter, let's just teleport to the entrance of the forest, which I guess we had already actually unlocked in this run. No, I guess I'd come up to short. I can't remember. No, I had been here before. And there were pupils uh, on the top and the bottom of this row because I saw them shooting blood at me. Okay. Yep, there they are. All right, unfortunately, I hit the bottom. And my feet said ouch. And the rest of me also said ouch. Let's use a scythe to try to kill the warg. There we go. All right. Very good. Uh, are you a boss? You are not. Another chicken leg. All right, so even after defeating that boss, this run could be alive and well. Still try to earn. A lot more monies. Oh boy. Alright, now. Now is the time to strike. And I did. What do we have up here? It's a room with enemies. Who could have foreseen this? Fortunately, the enemies were not up to the task of killing me. All right, it looks like I have to get to the top of this room, which is not super great. Someone's gonna shoot some blood bullets at me shortly, and I'm not going to like it. All right, but we got around him. All right, let's use a spell to take you out. A little bit of range. And there's still a headless horse over there somewhere, but let's go ahead and go a different direction. Right, and these guys would be better just to use the sword on them like this. Because my guard hits pretty hard, and so a sword to the back will indeed do some work on these guys. Alright, those spells were not as effective as I was hoping. I was trying to hit two of them at once since there's two sides that come out in two different directions. But I wasn't able to quite position things so that it was going to hit both at once. All right. All right, this is going pretty good so far. Ouch! I did not one-shot the horse, and then the horse ran face-first into me. And 
I didn't like it. Ah, I did it again. Give me once. Uh, probably shame on me, because I've played this game before. And I missed. I did hit some uh, furniture, though. I'm very low on health, and so I want to make sure that I spend my mana before I die. Because it's not going to do me any good after I'm dead. Uh, that's not a super great room for me. Ah, oh, chicken leg. Thank you. Oh, I don't believe it. There was a piece of furniture there. And I was trying to two-shot the butt, and instead I was standing on the furniture. All right. Well, these things happen. Um... Who do we want to use next? Paladin's a pretty good character. Let's do another Paladin. And with our money, we didn't unlock any more equipment that I need right now. And the attack is in pretty good spot. So yeah, at this point, let's unlock some new character classes. Shinobi uh, is a fast-moving fighter that deals good damage, but doesn't have good uh, armor hit points. And eventually we can upgrade to that to an Okagi. Um, crit chance up. Yeah, it would be nice to start getting crits on random classes. That's actually a pretty big deal. Ooh, hold on. Potion up. This causes chicken legs as well as potions to give you more hit points back, and so that's even better. Um, but then I'll do some crit chance up. And yeah, I think I'll spend a few crit chances up. So occasionally, yeah, critical for 102 rather than 68. This character's going to be colorblind, uh, but we'll get to see how they fare in the next episode. I'm going to say I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more modded Rogue Legacy. For now, bye-bye.